it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about least common multiples. Again, one of my favorite topics. I don't know why. I think because it's easy. Take a look. Let's say I had two numbers. The number two and the number three. And I wanted to do multiples of these numbers. Well, we know that multiples are really just like knowing our times tables. The multiples of two are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, on up. How about the multiples of three? The multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, on up. So when we're talking about least common multiple, common means let's look between the two and see what they have in common. And least is we're looking for the smallest one. Let's take a look. What number appears in both of these lists first? Ah, there we go. The number six and the number six. That is the least common multiple that appears in both of these lists. Now, you might notice that 12 also appears. That is a multiple that is in common, and that would be true. It's another common multiple, but is it the least? No, the least one, the smallest one is the six. So if I asked you, what's the least common multiple of the number three and the number four? Again, it's like doing our times tables. Let's do three. So the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15. Let's hope that's enough. Let's go to number four. The multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and both of them we keep going. So let's check our list and see if we can find a least common multiple they both have in common. So nope, not the threes, no four, no six, no eight, no nine, but look, it's the 12. The 12 is the first one that appears in both of the lists, so it's the least common multiple. Did you also know that you can use prime factorization to find the least common multiple? Take a look. So I've got two numbers here, 24 and 48. I'm going to prime factor using factor trees, because that's what I like to use, both of these numbers, and then we will see how we can find the least common multiple. Let's start with 24. So I know that 12 times 2 is 24. Keep going on the 12. 4 times 3 is 12, and 2 times 2 is 4. So here are my prime factors, 2, 2, 3, and a 2. So I'm going to write that over here, a 2 times a 2 times a 2 times a 3. Now let's try 48. I'm going to just go ahead and erase that to make my life easy. 48. 8 times 6 is 48. And we're not done. Neither of those are prime. Um, I just happen to remember 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, right? And 6, we know, is 2 times 3. So we have one, two, three, four twos times a three. Now, to factor, we choose the greatest occurrence of each number. So we look for, let's start with twos. What's the most twos that we have? We have two, 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 and two. So we have four twos. Let's write that down. And we have how, what's the greatest occurrence of three in one of the numbers? It's just one three. And this number is our least common multiple of 24 and 48. Let's figure it out. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. And 16 times three is 48. 48 is the least common multiple of 24 and 48. And that's it. So again, you factor each one individually and then choose the greatest occurrence of each number. I'm going to circle this so you can see I chose that 1, 3 because we only saw it occur once in each number. And then multiply it together. That's how you find the least common multiple. And that's it. Make sure you go ahead and try some of our practice examples. The least common multiple 
It's a pretty easy topic. That's why I love it. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.